if you cannot press the save button in Sims 4, or if you cannot save the game, watch this. First things first, as per usual, go to documents. If you're on a Mac, just go to documents and then electronic cards, the Sims 4. And here is where the magic happens. We're going to right click the mods folder and we're going to cut and paste it. Repeat after me, cut, not copy. Okay. Cut and paste it onto your desktop. Make sure you have enough free space before you do this. If you don't have free space, you can always cut and paste it onto an external drive. Make sure it's safe and do not delete it from there. Okay. Keep it there on your desktop because we want to be able to put it back afterwards. Second option, if you don't want to put it on your desktop is to rename it into mods old. By renaming it, we we are making sure that the game doesn't recognize and doesn't show up our folders in the game and this helps us especially if we have any possible broken mods so we can open the game without the possibility of the mods getting the game broken whilst the mods folder is renamed or whilst the mods folder is on our desktop we are going to open it up and we are going to type in ts4 script so delete any files that end with ts4 script because those are usually the problematic ones in my case i don't have any i only have package files which are cc also be aware of the package files because some of them can be features okay for the game like traits or any kind of stuff those need to be deleted as well and now we're gonna clear our game's cache which basically means that we are going to get rid of any temporary files that are broken due to those broken mods. Now, I'm just opening up the security app on Windows. If you're on a Mac and if you have an antivirus installed, you can do this. But if you don't have one, you can skip this step. We are going to add exclusion. What this does is basically your antivirus skips those files or the game from scanning. And sometimes scanning can block certain files. That's why your game is not working properly. Here are the exceptions, the exclusions I made. And now we're opening up the game to test the waters to see how it all went. The mods are showing up only CC. Do you remember we're only using CC such as clothes and furniture, but no features, no mods. And now we can resume our desired save and see if we can save the game essentially. Because most of you do have this problem in build mode where you cannot save the game or, or whilst you're playing in live mode, you you cannot save so we're gonna press save and if you cannot press save try the save as option and create a new save for your household and access that one thank you so much for watching and i truly hope this helped you out see you very very soon with a brand new video yes.